Hi, I'm Nathan Glazer, and this is the story of my first semester in college. When I first got my acceptance to the NUN program, I was hesitant about accepting. I mean, the idea of studying abroad freshman year shocked me. I didn't even know programs like this existed. I figured the transition of moving cross-country from LA to Boston would be enough of a culture shock already. I don't think I could have ever imagined being an ocean away from my family and friends for upwards of three months. Then again, I've never been shy of stepping out of my comfort zone, and this opportunity was one I knew I had to take. I chose London for my first semester and arrived at Mansion on August 19th where I first encountered my hilariously small room and met my awesome roommate, Charles. I spent my first couple of weeks exploring London and everything it has to offer. I wasn't used to the weather right away, but eventually I was able to adjust. Early on, I spent my free time all over the place, meeting new friends and simply enjoying the life of an American outside of his comfort zone. What do you think of your global experience, Fatigue? I'm in London! <laughs> The studying and studying abroad came for me at the Foundation for International Education, where I took five classes ranging from Islam in the West to microeconomics. On Mondays from 11.30 to 2.30, I went to Ace of Clubs in Clapham Common, where I helped serve meals to the homeless. I found this experience rewarding because it taught me the virtue of patience and that everyone has a story. I found my favorite places in London to be Camden. Hyde Park. Arsenal. And especially East Croydon. Bought more jewelry, more Louis V. My mama couldn't get through the This semester wouldn't have been complete without my Euro trip with 18, yes 18, of my friends. Our first stop was Amsterdam, where I got to see old friends, visit the famous Rijksmuseum, go on a canal tour, take many, many, many photos with my friends, experience the Heineken experience, and take photos in front of the iconic I Amsterdam sign. The next stop on our list was Berlin. Despite the cold weather, we were able to have a lot of fun in Berlin, doing a wide variety of things from photo shoots, bonding in the hostels, to uh, seeing a light show at the Brandenburg Gate, and taking even more photos. Our last stop was Copenhagen, where even though our stay there was the shortest, it was a great way to end the trip. Overall, this trip was a week I will never forget, and I hope that someday my friends and I can do a crazy trip like this again. Looking back on the last few months, I can't imagine spending my first semester anywhere else.
At times it was hectic, though it never seemed to stop being fun. I am happy to go back to LA, but I am going to sincerely miss London and all the crazy stories that came with it. That's all my eyes can see. Victory is mine. Yeah, surprisingly, I've been laying, waiting for your next mistake. I put in work and watch my status escalate. I'ma start collecting.